more tips for the Argyle private professional advisor for clients in that private services field. Looking at budget 2014, one of the interesting things that's finally happened, mind you, we're only copying what's been happening in the United States for a long time, and that is allowing excess contributions to a superannuation fund to be refunded to the member. Unfortunately, 2014 budget limits this only to member non-concessional contributions. Nevertheless, it's a great step in the right direction. And as I've said, it's only copying what's been happening in the US for some time. What does this mean? As a professional advisor, you still need to be checking those contributions. Never make a recommendation to a contribution without warning the client that they need to be assessing whatever contributions they've made for the past three years, not merely last year, not merely during the year in which we're talking, but for the past three years, because that's where the most diabolical potential excess contributions tax arises. Now, with the ability to refund those contributions, we don't know what the rules are yet. Undoubtedly, it'll increase the level of complexity in dealing with this area. Very hopefully, it'll just be a very simple contributions can be refunded immediately together with earnings on those. That's what we're hoping, but look out for that space. And just a reminder, even though excess contributions, non-concessional that is, can be refunded, do the client a favor. Also do yourself a favor. Whenever you're making a recommendation about contributing to super, warn the client. They've got to look back over the last three years. That's the current year and the two year prior to ensure that there's no excess contribution.